This is like a Z2 ride. Most of you are probably better than me. Maybe he's just too good for C category. I guess we're racing now. I'm no longer happy. Hello guys, welcome to Atopia and to Queen Stage of Tour de Suisse 2024. This is going to be a hard one. It's going to be the Accelerate to Elevate route. It's 43 kilometers and almost 1200 vertical meters. The profile of this course is very flat for the most part of the race, for the first around 30 kilometers, until you hit the bottom of the famous Alpe du Zwift climb, which is modeled after the Alpe d'Huez in France. The strategy for this race is going to be patience. It will be very tempting to go very fast right from the gun, but the success of the stage is not going to be determined on the flat sections. So you need to arrive at the bottom of Alpe de Zwift in a relatively good shape. My plan is to keep around 165 heart rate for the flat parts. I'm not going to get dragged into any kind of racing on the flat sections and we'll see what we can do on the climb. There are two power-ups for this race. Uh, on Fuego Flats Sprint Banner, you get a draft, uh, draft power-up. And on Jungle Banner, before the Alp de Zwift, you get a featherweight. I'm going to probably keep the featherweight for the end of the climb, but it is possible I might need to use it according to situation. I've got my drink ready, I've got my salt pills ready to avoid cramping. Hopefully you are going to enjoy this. Good luck if you're riding it and I'll see you at the start of the race. Okay, let's go. As it turns out, I was the craziest one on the start. <laughs> Probably I should chill a little bit. Let's give some ride ons. Hopefully the sound is now better. I spent some time tweaking it, so it should no longer be muffled. This start has been very chill, I'm surprised. But right now it's half past 12 here in Czech Republic. It's morning in the US, so they are probably just sleepy. But I like it.
This is like a Z2 ride right now. Here is going to be the first power up of the race. It's going to be draft. By the way, if you don't know about this, if you open the race window in the Zwift Companion app, there is a list of power-ups you will get at which point of the race. I didn't know about this until now. Sometimes since it's random in this stage, it's pre-selected. Okay, there is slight attempt to increase the pace of the group. And it's gone. I'm also trying to record this race in 4K, so hopefully it doesn't wreck my SSD. I did some testing, the files shouldn't be that big, probably around 200 gigabytes for the write. It's not about the storage. It just takes longer to process. I like this space. It's pretty chill. There is a group of guys that are trying to break the group right now. They probably don't think the start was quick enough. Okay, kind of agree, but I'm not ready to suffer just yet. This ride is going to be a great contribution for me to obtain the Tron bike, Swift Concept Z1. Right now I am at 40.2 kilometers vertical. This is going to be another 1200 meters. I want to have the Tron bike before the Zwift games, which start in late February. To avoid cramping, which I am somewhat prone to, 
I'm going to take salt pills every 30 minutes. Hopefully that will be enough. I've also eaten banana, which should help. There's another attack, an attempt to break the group. And it seems some guys are responding, so. The chase has started. Let's give Rydon back. And the attack is over. I'm using my Swift Play controllers and I'll try to steer as well as I can during this race. Mainly on the, on the Swift, it can really save you a lot of energy. I've seen some online debates if it's fair to use a steering device that not everyone has. You know, in real life you can also buy more expensive frame. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think it's fair. I've got it, so I'm using it. Every time I ride this route or any route that goes through the desert, I'm blown away by the graphics. I like the flower fields. It's beautiful. Some of you noticed in my previous videos that I had my seat a little too low. It was a really great spot. I actually had to 
raise it a little bit. Also, if you have any comments or feedback to my writing or anything, please let me know. I'm all open to that. I'm not a very experienced rider. I started cycling seriously in August last year. So most of you are probably better than me. This is super chill start of the race. <laughs> Never experienced something like this. Riding with glasses is annoying because every time I want to wipe my face, the sweat of my face, I need to take them down. But there's nothing I can do about it. I'm blind without them. Okay, now we are entering the coastal region. It's the new region in Watopia. And I love the design of that. I think they did a great job. Probably need to loop my chain a bit, starting to get squeaky. Looks like there's another attempt for a break breakaway. No one's reacting. It doesn't matter to break away in a race 
that ends with such a brutal climb. You are not gaining anything. But it's getting quicker. <laughs> Give away some ride-ons. <laughs> I don't even know when should I pop up that draft power up. Probably somewhere around here. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> There's no, not going to be a power-up here, so if any of the guys used it for that reason... Oh, is that? No, no, no. If anyone used that for that reason, I just wasted it. But I don't think it's gonna matter. The featherweight at the end is way more important. There's that breakaway guy. Probably not having too great of a time alone. And there's another attack.
This is what steering can do. By the way, a lot of people have issues with the Zwift Play, constantly disconnecting. I've had that too. And what helped was pair everything through my phone and the Zwift Companion app. So if you have disconnecting problems with your Zwift Play, this is the solution. Not ideal one, but hey, it's still in beta. What the hell is that guy? Never seen him. The breakaway guy is still bravely going. <laughs> Maybe he's just too good for C category. We'll see. There's 110 people racing today in C. Not too much actually, but it's still very early 
for the US guys racing. I actually have great respect from the for the people from the US who race at this hour. I wouldn't be able to do that. Especially if they are from the West, uh, West Coast, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My thoughts exactly, Andreas. <laughs> but he may bonk on the on the climb, so we really don't know at this point. Okay, half an hour in, well, let's take the first salt pill. I don't like the taste, <laughs> but I don't like cramps even more so. That's what I have to do.
I have a feeling that this group is going to start pushing the power up very soon as well. There are these, up to this point, quite mild attempts. But they are more and more frequent. Okay, it's not going to be me who will push the pace, so I'll ease up. I've got game mode set on my TV, which reduces latency and all this stuff. But it tells me in half hour increments how long I've been playing. And it told me right now I'm already playing for 60 minutes. Probably suggesting me I should, I should do some exercise or something. Mr. Guzman is still in the breakaway. Maybe he's just too strong. And it looks like he stopped and disconnected. That's game. So I guess he was just treating this race as a for the FTP test or something, or a workout.
It's a crazy graphic. Can you imagine how epic it would be to go ride in a place like this in real in real life? There's another attack. Why? Don't do that. Okay, I guess we're racing now. <laughs> well. I don't. I lost a kilo, so hopefully 
that will allow me to climb a little bit better. That was a joke. Still weigh 78. Nowhere near climbing weight. I don't like the unpaved part. The rear are going to get the feather weight from the climb. Yes, the finish is on top. Oh, we didn't get the feather weight, so I guess. It will be on the jungle banner. Now oh, this one. Okay, the group is splitting. I don't really mind that. I'm not going to chase after them because the climb is starting very, very soon and the groups will dissolve anyway. I wanted to stay with the group as long as possible to benefit from drafting, but right now it's no reason to chase after them. I probably won't be talking as much during the climb. For some of you, that might be actually a positive thing. Let's enjoy the last flat section. Last bit of a downhill. A drink. Okay, have fun, everyone. Up the Zwift.
We didn't get the featherweight <laughs> at all. So I guess the description was wrong. First switch back down. Twenty one to go.
上网来着。I try to, try to keep my cadence around 90. I feel that that's where my legs and lungs are hurting equally.
the salt pill. Yeah, already people on the 14. <laughs> wow. My Alp PR is 120. So I'm interested if I can PR today.
I'm no longer happy.
Last five, five K.
My hands hurt.
Farm Rouge. Thank <laughs> you. 
क्लास हेल्पिंग Can we do it under two hours? So this was accelerate to elevate. <laughs> I expect it to be hard. It was hard. Um, I'm pretty happy with my execution of the race. I uh, didn't do anything crazy on the flat part. Um, the group uh, set a very reasonable pace, so they definitely helped. If there was one attack after another, I might get tempted, but uh, this was actually pretty reasonable performance from the group. Um, as for the Alp, I think I paced it really good. I arrived at the top perfectly spent, uh, but at no, no point during the climb I felt like I was done and I would need to stop. I um, Uh, it was hard, but it wasn't undoable. As you can see, I did majority of the race in Z4 uh, in terms of heart rate. 
so I worked hard and I definitely improved my time on the Alp. I'm not sure what it was actually. I might need to watch the replay, but my previous record was 120. And in this race, I definitely did better. And I managed to finish the whole race under two hours, which I'm really happy about. So that's, that's for stage six, queen stage of the Tour de Suisse 2024. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next race. See ya.